Hi guys, it's me. So I'm here today with the Blood Money palette, which is new to me. It is not new in general though. You can pick it up on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website for I believe around $52, but I found this for a $34 steal at Nordstrom Rack. And also you can order it for the same price off Nordstrom you can order it off the Nordstrom Rack website and pay that same $34 price, along with several other Jeffree Star palettes. Yeah, so I actually, I didn't even know that Nordstrom Rack sold Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I found out, and yeah, there's several of his palettes for a generous discount on Nordstrom Rack's website. So, if you're looking to purchase some of them, he has phenomenal, phenomenal makeup. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of his makeup. So if you want to try it out, but you don't want to spend all that money on a single palette, definitely check out Nordstrom Rack's website and see if you can find a good deal for you on there. So today I'm gonna to be doing a look from this Blood Money palette. This is a palette that I wanted for a while, but due to the fact that I don't use a ton of green colors, I didn't pick it up when it first launched. But seeing it at its discounted price, I definitely wanted to try it and now that I have swatched it I do believe I would have been happy with picking it up for full price when it launched just saying okay, we're going to prime our eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion I use the anti-aging because the regular dries out my eyes a little bit the anti-aging I don't actually think does anything in all honesty for anti-aging I just like it because it's not just drying all right now we're going to take our concealer YSL Touche Plot the regular and I'm going to put that under my eyes only in the dark areas y'all in the last video I posted that ring light mirror from Texas oh my gosh I can't even explain how bad I wanted to bring that home with me because here the lighting is great for actually getting ready but there's a huge bright white light above me so when I look up you can tell you know that concealer works and everything but when I look down there's so much shadow coming down from my brow bone and everything that it still looks like I have dark circles and it drives me nuts. Take our Becca Hydra Mist Setting Powder and set that concealer. And the reason I do this before eyeshadows, especially, especially new eyeshadows that I'm trying out is because I can put this powder under my eyes and any fallout from the palette can be easily swept away with the powder. All right, so now I'm just taking a sponge and I'm literally drawing a line of where I want my eyeshadow to go and making sure that it's even because I do want a sharp, sharp look. Now, for the most exciting part, we are going to go into the eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm actually gonna start with this color right here called Self Made. No, I lied, I'm gonna start with Private Island. Definitely gonna start with Private Island. Swirl in my Morphe M511 brush, and I'm going to just pop that in the crease. Oh, and true to form Jeffree Star's eyeshadows just apply like a freaking dream. So easy and so gorgeous, like, oh, how effortless. Next thing I'm going to do is take this shade Equity, which is right above the last one that we used, with my Scott Barn 69 brush and I'm going to pop that just along the crease. It's 
slightly blend up just a tad. Y'all, I really haven't met a Jeffree Star palette yet that I didn't like. And the quality of his shadows are just on a totally new level. Like, ease of use, I would compare Jeffree Star to Natasha Denona. And there's a massive price difference there. And in all honesty, I prefer Jeffree Star. Enzo does too. So, the next shade that I'm going to go in with... Baby, what do you need? Nice. Right here. This pretty gold with the teal shift. And I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my eye. Like the inner half. Oh my gosh. Now on the same brush, but on the other side, I'm gonna go into the shade Secret Stash. I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Yeah guys, I totally missed out. When this launched, I should have gotten it, oh my gosh. Also, the um, banana, the yellow banana theme palette that you just came out with not too long ago, that one's on my list to get soon. So, comment if you'd like me to get that and do a review slash swatches slash tutorial. Look at that. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, so just for the fact of trying some of these brighter colors out, <laughs> I'm going to use Enzo! Y'all, Enzo is on it today. Like, on it. He is on the chip, man. Mom. Okay, so I'm going to take the M431, this little pencil brush that I like to use for my inner corner in the shade Divine Intervention, which is that white up at the very top and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so pretty. I can't, y'all, I'm sorry, I know I'm being annoying, but this is just, this is ridiculous. How did I not get this? I should have gotten this. The, the videos and swatches just don't, don't do it justice. Go to NordstromRack.com and buy this palette for $34. A Jeffree Star palette for $34, buy it. I mean, just go buy it. It's great. If you've never tried Jeffree Star though, be aware because um, you're gonna want everything else he makes. It's the only downfall. You go broke buying Jeffree Star. And oh, shut it! 508, this little smudgy brush. And like I said, just for the fact of trying out some of these brighter colors, this isn't really what goes with the look that I have. If I was just wearing this, I would probably do similar shades on the bottom lash line or nothing. But I want to try some of these other shades out, some of these brighter ones. So let's do let's do Chameleon Fetish and Poison Ivy on the bottom lash line. So we're gonna do Chameleon Fetish towards the inner part of it. So right here. If you wanted to make this a little more intense, you could wet it with some setting spray. All right, now with Poison Ivy. So obviously I'm gonna have to do another look with this palette and use some of these brighter colors because these are just insanely gorgeous. I mean, look at, can you tell even? I just don't think on, on camera it does it justice. Just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous Jeffrey I give you not that you care what I rate this but like a 1,000 point 1 million like 1 out of 10 just isn't even enough to rate that I'm, I'm so floored right now we're gonna dust that excess off and really there wasn't a whole 
that there really wasn't a lot of fallout in that, which is pretty amazing because those darker shades are really pigmented and most of the time you would have fallout. So that's pretty impressive. Like I just, I, I'm, y'all I swear, I'm not trying, I'm, I'm a very honest person. I can't not be honest, like I'm honest to a fault. <laughs> this is amazing. Look how pretty, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I I'm in love. I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette. That's all there is to say. I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette. So the face makeup here would be, I don't know, like, day laying by the pool, like, very light. I don't know, anyway. Face makeup, 69 body brush from Scott Barnes. Um, hourglass radiant bronze light bronzer. Just dip it in there and just swipe it on the outer portions of my face. I love to do this when I don't want super heavy face makeup because it still gives me that little bit of warmth and that contoured look without actually having to take the time to sculpt and contour. All right guys, so now I'm gonna take my blush brush, which is the Morphe E53. Fluffy brush, a little tapered at the end. And the Hourglass Radiant Magenta blush. And I'm just gonna barely tap in there and put that on the apples of my cheeks. And work it backwards just a bit. Really pretty. I love hourglass blushes because they're very buildable. You can get as light or as heavy coverage as you want from them. I have both the Extreme Gloss that came out with this collection, but um, I love the Extreme Gloss, so I definitely picked those up when it came out. This one is called Cold Hard Cash. What it looks like. Swatch. Very glittery. It's got like a gold with a green shift. And I'm just going to add that to the tops of the cheekbones. The Extreme Brost are a very interesting formula. I do like to be pretty careful with it. Normally I'll go in with a regular highlighter and then put these on top. But, um, so I, I tap it on like that and then I'll go in with a clean finger and rub it down. Because I feel like going in with the finger that I picked the product up on and rubbing, I'm just gonna get a big splotch of sparkles and that's not what I'm going for. So tap, tap, tap all around and then rub with a clean finger. Also gonna put a little bit of that above the brow. Or, I'm sorry, under the brow. If you try to apply this with a brush, I've found that you are going to end up with a full lot of glitter all over your face. Just apply. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm gonna do brows, liner, mascara, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back and I have my lashes. No, I have my eyebrows, my mascara, and my liner on. And I used the regular Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in light brown, Brow Wiz in light brown, NARS Climax Mascara and Kat Von D, Tattoo Liner, and Trooper. The regulars that you guys already know. So now I'm gonna go in with my Patrick Ta, She's Proud lip liner. And how I like to line my lips, and I can't remember which makeup artist I learned this from, but of course it was here on YouTube, and I really love their technique. So their technique is to go under the fullest part of your lip, And then instead of overlining the outside, 
you go towards the inside. And that really makes your bottom look pop and look cooler. And then I just like to line the cupid's bow. And kind of blend that out. Because I feel like that makes the middle of my lips pop and look fuller. And that's what I want. I don't want the um, overlined look. I just want what I've got to look a little fuller. So that's how I do it. And I'm going to take this MAC lipstick. It's in shade what Mesa, M-E-S-A, like, I think that's some kind of rock or something around from their, I don't remember what collection, but the packaging looks like this. And I did a swatch for you in my last video, which was the Get Ready With Me. And I'm sure you'll be able to find a dupe for it. But anyway, yeah, here's the finished look. Hope you guys like it. My first impressions of using this Blood Money palette by Jeffree Star is like 10 out of 10. I, I could not recommend this anymore. And obviously I have like no subscribers, no followers, so I have <laughs> no reason to lie. And I'm a very honest person anyway. But um, yeah, I feel like this is worth the full price that you would pay on his website, but definitely, definitely worth the $34 that you can get it off Nordstrom Rack's website. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. It was helpful. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you would like to see next. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.